Hey everybody, welcome once again to Root Access. Ryan Ritchie, Jamie DeGrazio here with you. Of course, here at Root Access, we, we peel back the the curtain, thank you, of the Genius Bar and what goes on at the Apple Store, and we answer your questions as well. This week, it's all about warranties. Yep. Warranties. Don't void your warranty. That's no. tip number one. Don't do that. But uh, one question that came in regards the Apple warranty, of course, as some people have learned the hard way, the Apple warranty does not cover accidental damage, and so... Yeah. Uh, someone had asked, well, what do I do? How can I, can I get coverage sure. some other way? Before we get to that, tell me about being at the Genius Bar and how much fun it is to break to folks that, you know, the, their laptop full of water is, is not going to be covered. Well, I, I would definitely say uh, breaking bad news is probably the, the, the worst part of being a Mac Genius. I mean, and I think some geniuses were uh, better at it than others. Mm -hmm. I always felt like I could, I could deal with it pretty well. Um, but it's definitely a tough part of the job. Okay. So someone comes in and they, they ask you, hey, well, I do want to get a warranty for my computer. What Are there options out there? What what happens? Outside of the Outside Apple of Apple Care. Apple Care. Apple Care. Well, um, I mean, Apple, as we, we both know, Apple doesn't offer any sort of uh, accidental damage warranty like I think Dell and mm -hmm. maybe some of the other uh, computer manufacturers do. So if you spill coffee or you drop your laptop down the stairs, um, there's nothing that Apple provides that's going to cover that. So your options are perhaps uh, homeowner's insurance or renter's insurance may cover the, the damage to your computer. Um, the other option is like a third party company mm -hmm. that may uh, insure your, your laptop and, or your, uh, sometimes the credit cards will, will take care of that as well. If you purchase it with a credit card. That's a good um, point. some sort of accidental coverage. A lot of times on your credit card, and provided it's all paid for on one card, if you split it across cards, it gets messy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Neither one really wants to pay for it but it can double your uh, manufacturer's warranty from yep. one year to two years. Um, and uh, one of those third-party companies is called Safeware. That was one I've heard about on, on, on Google. I used Google. Yeah, I mean. Uh, it, but it, I, I can't, they have a little thing to estimate your, your coverage, and I can't put in more than $9 of coverage. So. Yeah, I mean, there's a bunch of companies out there. I remember years ago when, when CompUSA was in business, um, mm -hmm. and you'd go into their Mac department, you could buy like accidental damage through CompUSA and they're just getting it through some other third party company sure, sure. to cover broken laptop screens and what have you. I would be curious to see, uh, we should look into this, how Best Buy handles now that they sell Macs again, if they offer their own warranty in addition. Yeah, I mean, at, le at least from my experience when I was working at Apple, um, this was pre computer sales at Best Buy, but we mm -hmm. would certainly get a lot of iPods that come in and, and Best Buy is good at you know, pushing their warranty on iPod customers. And it was kind of strange because sometimes the customer would come in with the iPod and it was, it was still within the year's warranty. Okay. And so it was a weird situation where, well, if I replace this for you by Apple's warranty, I'm not sure if the Best Buy warranty is going to be valid anymore. Mm -hmm. And then there were other cases where they would come in out of warranty but still covered on their Best Buy. And they had gone to Best Buy first, and Best Buy told them, no, go to the Apple store. And it's like, well, we, we can't do anything for you. You're out of warranty. You still have this Best Buy warranty. It, it got kind of shady. Sure. Um, I, I think a lot of it has to do with maybe just misinformed um, either customers or Best Buy staff. But uh, you know, if you buy an iPod at Best Buy, they'll they'll sell you a warranty. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, it's the same problem, and it, it's almost more problematic with an iPod because you use it more, you're more active with it. But again, Apple Care doesn't cover accidental no, damage. No. Do you think Apple, I mean, Apple prides themselves on the experience of the Genius Bar and the high rankings traditionally mm -hmm. of Apple Care. Do you think they should have some sort of accidental damage pro policy? Do you think that would just make the bar three times well, busier? I think if it, if it was going to happen, it would have happened with the phone. Mm. And since it hasn't, that probably tells you where Apple's head's at, that they're not interested in doing that. Mm -hmm. Um, whether it's because they feel, you know, Apple customers would intentionally break their device to get, you know, replacement or hope to get like a newer model, or if it's just like they just don't want to open that can of worms. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't think they're going to do it anytime, though. Another place that other companies are a little bit ahead of them is in terms of in-home. A lot of mm -hmm. these companies, like Dell, most of their plans include in-home repair. Yeah. Apple, that's another route that Apple just doesn't seem to have much interest in. Yeah, I know when I was uh, training for Mac Genius, uh, Mac Genius and um, you know, I think someone brought that topic up, like how come Apple doesn't go to, to people's homes? And I think a lot of it was just for insurance reasons and mm -hmm. they didn't want to, again, open that can of worms of having people 
you know, go to customers' houses. Um, so we've always pushed that off to third-party providers. I could honestly see that happening somewhere down the road. Um, have like, you know, Mac Genius come to your house to fix something. Um, only because, you know, Apple computers are getting, you know, more and more prevalent. And if they can sell you that as an additional service, you know, right. it's not going to be covered as part of uh, Apple Care, standard mm -hmm. Apple Care. But I think you could see that down the road. Maybe even in-house one-to-one. one then you can yep. combine yep. those, combine them all together, <laughs> and have fun with that. Uh, and maybe it'll be like the Geek Squad, except yeah, the I, cars will be hip, and you'll have I black could, turtlenecks. I think it'll be kind of like that. Yep. All right, there you go. So third-party warranties. Be careful is, yeah. is uh, number one. And number two, you know, try to find out before you purchase them what the rules are, the things like the Best Buy warranty doesn't need to come back to Best yeah, Buy. Yeah, I would definitely grill with Best Buy before purchasing the warranty. Oh boy, they're gonna love this segment. <laughs> All right, we'll talk to you soon, folks.